Top notch mob. Ruby String. West Philly to the bottom. They don't wanna see you win. They rather see you locked up in a pain. This is 50.com. I am your host at Gossip Viv. I'm the great guesser, yo. The Heineken is here. DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough's out on the bridge to the streets. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Let's oh, go. Oh. We got our second guest in the building. Who's that? Tone Trump. For let, me do my, let me do my little intro. This is oh. Tone oh. Trump, the greatest hustler alive. The king of West Philly in the building. West right, Philly. Honey. There's Tone so Trump. many things that I want to ask you, but I kind of like want to go into it slow. So let's start yeah. slow. What you been working on? Um. <laughs> Um, right now, I'm working on my, uh, you know, that's why I name dropped The Greatest Hustler Alive. Okay. My mm-hmm. new project is The Greatest Hustler Alive. It's an EP and it's a documentary. God willing, it'll be out November 30th, which is a special day for me because it's my birthday and it's my son's birthday as well. Oh, nice. That's what's so up. I try to drop a project. That's you know a blessing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's real strategic, being The Greatest Hustler Alive. I drop a project around our birthdays and then I go get show money and I run around and get some bread and come back and spend it with my baby. So. So, now you got this new project. I know mm-hmm. you used to be signed with Jeezy. Absolutely. So, this is all independent. Um, Tentatively. You know, tentatively. I want it to be. You know, I got I got some options. Okay. But um, right now, I'm loving, you know, one of the things I learned from being signed to somebody is I, I love not being signed to somebody. Why mm. is that? You know what I mean? You know, it's just, you know, the, the power, you know, when you're a hustler, it's hard to be the greatest hustler alive and have to wait for yes or no and stuff like that. You know mm. what I mean? I, I've, I've been a man in my house since I was nine years old. So it's hard to, you know, have something I believe in. And they say, well, you know, wait till the ninth. Wait till this and wait till that. And I'm not good at asking for stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at being no dick eater. I got a lot of pride. I'm Muslim. I come from a strong, strong background. So sometimes it's hard because in this yes. business, it's very good when you're a dick licker and an ass kisser. And I don't mean that in, I don't mean <laughs> no, that in a sexual term. No, I mean no, that, I know. You know like an ass saying? kisser, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So it's tough sometimes. So for somebody like me, you know, I think it's better, you know what I mean? But at the same time. I don't want to lose the option of picking that bag up because right. you know, each situation is different. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't want to not, I'm not going to front like some dudes. Like, you know, independent, independent, independent. Because that bag is nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if it it's is. done right. But uh, that- right now it's not being done right a lot. So, you know, I'm going to work and, you know, show and prove. So is that kind of like the reason why you decided to leave? Because you felt like, you know, was always asking like when it was is a, it going to come it, out it, 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 was, it, was, it was a lot of reasons I, I want to say that's the only reason but you know to sum it all up and to keep it positive because mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like it's sucker shit to be down with somebody and then you leave and you vent I know right, how right, many right. niggas come in here and other places and now yeah. they mad so I'm the type of person the way I was raised and the way I was built even if I was mad at Jeezy the world would never know so my okay, main thing my main, my main thing is, my main, my main thing is it's time for me to move on and boss up he gave me a million dollars worth of game you know, he gave me a lot of experience. I learned a lot, did some great music. You know, essentially it changed my life. So I'd be a fool to, you know, go and be like, oh, fuck that nigga, whatever, 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 like that. I'm going to let the music talk. People going to hear stuff on this project. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say nothing bad about him. I don't want to say nothing necessarily too great about him other than I wish him the best. Mm. And, and, and I feel like he wished me the best, too. Okay. Well, That's the grown and everybody, man and everybody, and everybody, like and everybody over there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because, you know, people are ready to see you. Do like what Freddie Gibbs was doing, going after him because yeah, of your shout profile. Fre- shout to Freddie Gibbs. That's, I, pe- I think people, because of the way I came up in this shit, people expected me to do that. I come from Philly, so you know we we had so many civil wars within Philly. You know what I mean? When I when I met Fifty, one of the things we talked about, he was going to do a reality show. Better know about this years ago mm-hmm. on Philly and how shit was out there because of the craziness and the beefing. But you grow up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, you mean, I, you're I'm, talking about Philly. How was that scene? Because mm-hmm. th- I was gonna ask when that. I when I still see that video be- with you and Louis V. Gutter, and I'm like, y'all both Philly cats. Mm-hmm. That's Meek's part partner. You he doing? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, come on, tell th- the story right. Don't fuck it. Oh up. no, no, no. Yeah. Pardon me. Pardon me. Yo, break it down. <laughs> why? Why he not? Why he not Meek partner no more? What Based on that video where they said he was snitching to the police after he got robbed, right? Or I said it wrong. <laughs> No, he want to know if you know your I don't stuff. Know. You, you knew about the other shit, so I just no, 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 my bad. Right. That's what I heard about that. That's I, what... I, I, I sum it up like this: You saw the video when they attempted to try to. Yeah, they rolled up and then they sucker punched you. And, and what happened? You... Tell the story right. Then as y'all tussling, <laughs> some no, niggas so, came through. So, so, somebody swung, yeah. and then I did what? Them niggas ran no, away from you. you. Fucking up. No, they swung. Oh. I swung back. Then I got charged by about seven, eight people. I never hit the ground, right? Nah, you were standing up. Right. So when you get jumped. 
where I come from, when you get you're drunk, supposed you're supposed to get fucked up. You're supposed to wake, you, you, supposed you, to wake up in a hospital. hospital. Not to say I wanted that to happen. But coming from where I come from, I've been through so much. The night before that happened, I went through something so much crazier than that. But it was with some real street niggas. So they not going to get on the internet and try to world start yeah. and all that. So them dudes was, you know, looking for opportunity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know about the shit when you saying you said something about him and me getting cool no more. Because he ratted and all that. Mm. I don't know nothing about that. Understood. <laughs> but I do know. <laughs> That you know, even you know that video that of me when they attempted to do what they did to me got over a million hits. Mm -hmm. I'm somebody's father, I'm somebody's son, and I was able to walk out with my head held high regardless. You know, shit happens. I've been shot before. Yeah, I ain't do no interviews about it. You know what I mean? I didn't shot at people, but I ain't do no interviews about it. And the thing with that is, I never, I could have spent that into so much shit. The old me could have made that a movie because mm -hmm. what they tried to do didn't work. And mm -hmm. they were so un unintelligent with it. Because if I would have did that, me and my niggas would have jumped out on some niggas. If we jump out on him and we try to jump him and he don't fall, we not putting the footage out. <laughs> <laughs> because he, he, he looks... Right, you know he I mean? looks like the better he man. He looks like the better man. So, mm -hmm. you know, you live and you learn, man. And, I, you know, so I moved on from it. But when you say the state of Philly, stuff like yeah. that, desperation comes from what? Poverty. Mm. You know what I mean? So if a nigga, you know, I'm, I'm walking around looking like a check. So if a nigga saying, damn, if I punch him in the face and he falls... And I get 10 million views. That's my come up. I might get an interview. I might get some, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, those are the chances we take. So every time I leave my house, you got to understand in Philly, we don't have no New York. Y'all got 50, Jay-Z, all these big time artists. So when a nigga, you know, when a battle rapper or an upcoming artist like a Oom P or Afraid of God sign walking around New York, it's kind of like, oh, all right, because y'all got 50 in them niggas. In Philly, when we out, it's like 50 in them being out. So, mm. so just like when I'm out. Yesterday, and somebody will pull over and say, can I get a picture with you? Somebody could pull over and try to blow my fucking head off. Whether I'm with my child, whether I'm with my lady, whether I'm just mobbing with my... So that's the chances we take, and that's the life we chose. I could have worked at Target. You know what I'm saying? When I was when I was hustling, when I was trapping and doing other things, nobody wanted to try to get me on camera. But so with all the great things that come with this shit, all the touring, mm. all the women, all the jewelry, all the fun, all the great food. I've never ate this great in my life. You know what I'm saying? I've never been on this many planes. If If... if if the one bad thing is eight niggas trying to jump me and I don't fall, I say I thank a law. You know okay. what I mean? Because yesterday somebody in Philly got their head blown off and he ain't able to come up to G Unit and talk about it. So Philly is fucked up. They don't wanna see you win. They don't wanna see you locked up in the pen. They want you up state road. They don't wanna they see you cry. Face. They rather throw shade at your shine. Look at their faces. They don't wanna see